great thing about Celtics is it's totally free, like totally. And uh, it's part of the whole shareware, uh, open source movement. And, uh, and Celtics is great about even adding new features that you suggest. It's, it's wonderful. Um, most script writing software costs uh, $100, $200. Uh, but Celtics is free. We want to open up Celtics after you've downloaded it. And the icon looks something like this. What you want to do is you want to choose the type of script. Now for this class, I want you to choose film as the correct script. And so there's lots of different options. You can do an audio play, theater, a script play, um, but I always use film. It, it even works. I even use it for plays. I just really like the setup and format. Okay, so click film. And as soon as you click film, then you'll see a screen like this. With this screen, you have it automatically sets up the scene heading. And that'll show you uh, on the left under project library, it should say screenplay. So, now when you write a screenplay, you always start out with interior or exterior. That's I-N-T dot. Uh, and you'll see that it already has that programmed in there. You could type I and select it. Or there's E-X-T dot. It's either interior or exterior. Uh, so depending if your action is happening inside or outside. Uh, the exception to that is I slash E. That's interior and exterior. Uh, that's less common. And what that's for is if the action is happening both inside and outside. So is the, action hap is the actioning happening in a car? Uh, then you see both interior and exterior. So maybe you see someone's look on their face as there's a car accident next to them or somebody's holding a gun uh, to the window of the car and you see their reaction. Uh, you are at a house window and something's happening right outside the house and you can see the person's reaction inside. Not shower day, so I'm gonna roll up the window. You ready? All right, here we go. There we go, into the car wash. Pull forward, pull forward. It's hard. All right, stop. All right, begin. See, it's working, isn't that great? That's water conservation at work. All right, there you go. Anyway, so we're going to do interior, and so we're going to do interior um, living room, and then I, so next you choose where the action's happening, and then you choose day or night. So interior living room, day. Now you can see a lot of things are happening. And, um, I'm going to hit return, and then it automatically goes to action. So I've completed my scene heading, and now I'm in action after I hit return or enter. And a lot of things have happened here. Uh, you see that up above, it's switched to action from scene heading. You see down below under scene, scene one has been created for you. We're going to go on to action. And with action, you describe what's going on. Usually at the beginning of a screenplay, there's a lot of description to kind of set things up. Um, but I'm not going to get too into that now. Of course, with description, you don't want to do the director's job for them. Don't start talking about camera angles and things like that. Uh, you want to focus on the story. And then I'm going to say something. So I hit return. Now you see that it still stays at action in this little drop-down menu, even though I hit return. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the drop-down menu. After I click on the drop-down menu, then I click character and it switches to character. And you'll see that it centers the text. And when I type my name, it's Doug, and it goes in all capitals. Then when I hit return, it switches to dialogue. You'll see that the dialogue is indented. 
So the only, only the scene heading and the action go entirely across the page. The name of the character is centered and the dialogue is partway indented throughout. Then I hit return after my dialogue and what it does is it centers for the next character to talk. And so I can type in another character name. I'm going to put baby and wah. But even though my baby's not doing that, I guess, yeah, she's sleeping happily. See, she's quite happy. Yeah, she's doing great. And I hit enter again, and it still is on character after the dialogue. But I want it to go back to action. So how do I do that? I click on the drop-down menu. And I select action. And you'll see it goes back over to the side. And I can type the next action. Doug gets the bottle. Bing. And feeds the baby. Okay, see? So now in my screenplay... I have all the elements of a great movie. See, I have a character, I have setup, I have a conflict, and then I have resolution. Ha! So, send this off to Hollywood. I want to have a new scene. And the reason why is that there's going to be a change in location. That's a good reason to switch scenes. Change of location. I'm going to switch to scene heading, and I'm going to put exterior... So suddenly, now what I'm doing is I'm moving the story forward by having a new action occur. So something different has happened. Um, the first scene might be setting up uh, what is my normal day like, and then this new event is showing something different than happens. And that's usually a good thing to have happen in a screenplay. You have normal, everything is normal, and then you have an event that changes things. So something suddenly happens that is different in this person's life. So my car starts up and drives away. Did somebody steal it? Did, um, is the car possessed? Uh, you know, what's going on? So there's a mystery, there's, there's intrigue. Uh, so... And that's what you want to do with your stories. You want to make sure you save your project. And ideally, save it with your name as part of the file name. And you can either do an underscore or don't do any spaces. That makes it a little easier for me to download it a little quicker. Uh, so I'm going to say Doug uh, Celtics. And make sure you know where you're saving it to. Uh, there's a lot of other options on Celtics. Uh, there's storyboarding options. Um, if you look down at the bottom of Celtics, you can set up a title page. Uh, you can do typeset so you can actually see what it looks like when it's going to be printed. It's a very amazing and powerful program for free. So uh, my compliments to Celtics. So everybody say bye-bye to the baby. Say bye-bye, Mia. Okay. Is that a fun podcast? Is that fun or what? Is that fun or what?